Something is disappearing from today's workforce, and it's not a lack of jobs. According to a report, it's men. KOMU 8's Michael Dowden is in the studio after a day of trying to understand why. According to the Federal Reserve, 11% of the male workforce is missing. These able-bodied men, aged 25 to 54, are either unemployed or not looking for work. So I simply wanted to know why. I decided to start my search like any man trying to find work, looking through the classifieds. After a couple of hours, Tiger Towing agreed to talk to me. They lamented filling open positions isn't always easy. It, it takes probably about a month or so to find a decent driver, you know. I wanted to know how hard of a gig driving was, so I took a ride. There was plenty of lifting, pulling, and driving. Hard work for 10 bucks an hour plus commission. Well, according to some reports, potential employees think work like this is just too hard, and they think they can have the same type of lifestyle drawing unemployment benefits. Debates, though, disagrees. I, I really don't understand it. I mean, I think you'd want to be more active. I think you'd want to be more productive with your life. I mean, you want to lead example for your kids if you've got kids, you know. So I tried the job for myself. Lifting. She's heavy. Pulling and driving. And well, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Man, I was working for like five seconds. My hands are dirty. Got a hangnail. Life's tough. The job may be hard, but it's still a job, and Debates has a team of drivers who are up to the task. He says I'm not good enough to join them yet. So in the meantime, I'll work on my driving. <laughs> Other reasons experts give for men not filling vacancies included the death of male-dominated industries and a feeling of overqualification for some positions.